Today in this video, we are going to compare the newly came out most powerful processor Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and MediaTek Diamond CD 9000. These two processors are based on 4 nanometer and has some powerful impact in phones. Talking about the announcement of both the processor 8 Gen 1 was announced at 1st December while Diamond City 9000 was announced at 19 November. So 8 Gen 1 is new as compared to Diamond City. Talking about the CPU in Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, you will get one Cortex core which is of X2 and the speed is 2.0 GHz. This is newly came out core and very powerful core told by the Snapdragon and has the much powerful capability. This is for high performance. For low performance, you will get three Cortex core which is of A710. The speed is 2.25 GHz. It is very nice for a flagship level and for efficiency you'll get four cortex core which is of a510 and the speed is 1.8 gigahertz talking about the mediatek dimensity 9000 you'll get the same code which is of x2 but the speed is here compromise has compared to snapdragon there is much more power over here which is 3.5 gigahertz same for the low performance the speed is updated 2.85 gigahertz and last for the efficiency both the sides it remains same talking about the cores both the processor are supported by the 8 core talking about the cpu frequency in snapdragon 8 gen 1 you will get 3000 megahertz while in diamond city 9000 you will get 3050 megahertz talking about the cpu fabrication both the processor are supported by the newly came out 4 nanometer processor this is the very new and advanced technology talking about the cache memory in snapdragon 8 gen 1 it is 10 mb while in diamond city 9000 it is 14 mb so diamond city is much more good in cache talking about the gpu in snapdragon you will get adreno 730 while in diamond city you will get Mali G710. Talking about the GPU frequency, Snapdragon hasn't mentioned, but MediaTek has mentioned that the frequency over here is 850 MHz. Talking about the memory type, in Snapdragon you will get LPDDR5, and in MediaTek Dimensity you will get LPDDR5X RAM. So over here, Dimensity is little bit ahead as compared to snapdragon as seen in the memory the snapdragon stands little bit low so in memory frequency the speed of snapdragon is 3200 megahertz while mediatek is pouring 3750 megahertz so here also mediatek has taken the chair talking about the size in snapdragon 8 gen 1 you will get the size of 24 gb while Diamond City has not announced what exactly the size would be. Talking about the NPU, it remains as similar as the old one. Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 uses Hexagon, while MediaTek hasn't announced which NPU they are using. Talking about the storage, both processors are using same storage and the powerful one which is UFS 3.1. Talking about the display, in Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, you'll get a more than 4K while in MediaTek you will get 4K. Talking about the camera in Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, you will get single camera of 2000 megapixels while dual camera of 64. While in MediaTek you will get single camera support of 320 megapixels while there is no support mentioned over here of dual camera but in triple camera you will get support up to 32 megapixels which is great over here so mediatek is winning in the support of camera in video capturing and playback 8 gen 1 is using 8k at 30 fps while mediatek is using also the similar 8k at 30 fps in capturing but in playback it is supporting 8k at 60 fps which is a little bit more smoother than 30 fps talking about the modem in snapdragon 8 gen 1 you'll get the latest one which is x65 the 4g is 
LTE CAD 24 and the downloading and uploading speed is 10 GB PS of downloading and uploading is 3.5 GB PS of Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 while in MediaTek they have hasn't done, told you which modem they are using but the downloading speed is 7 GB PS and uploading speed they hasn't mentioned talking about the benchmark in single core of snapdragon you will get 1237 in multi core you will get 3832 and overall score is more than 9 lakhs which is a great by the snapdragon and in mediatek you will get the single core of scoring more than 1200 plus hasn't mentioned the score this is the rumor score and in multi core you'll get the 4000 plus score overall score is more than 9 lakhs so we can easily see mediatek has the higher score as compared to snapdragon snapdragon is always a powerful processor in android phones and very well all the processor are compared to the snapdragon because of the optimization snapdragon gives but over here mediatek has killed the snapdragon we can say in that way because it is going very powerfully we have seen in the cpu also and in gpu also overall thing is also powerful of mediatek so we should appreciate it mediatek because they are building such a great quality processors and uh, are much lower in the price as compared to snapdragon so let us see and hope our best that mediatek this time also bring the their phones and their processor in lesser amount so snapdragon can easily compete with them there will be lot much difference we can expect of the 9000 series phones and 8 gen 1 phones so let us see if this can't be happen there are chances that 8 gen 1 will also be coming in the lesser value this was all about the comparison of the two greatest processor hopefully you like this video subscribe to our channel press bell notification and click to also never miss any other update coming soon with another video